Hi everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to create your own map in Google, embed it on your website, and possibly have it rank in the search engine results. The way I found this technique is I have to rank myself in a lot of cities because I'm a certified mold inspector and I need a lot of appointments from different areas. I can't just work in one town. So I created a map in Palatine, Illinois, and when I checked the search engine results for the fourth position, a map I created just to embed on my website actually showed up in the search results. Now if you click on the result, one thing you'll notice is you don't have a lot of space over here. You have the title and the description. And that's all someone sees if they click on your map. So a mistake I made, not realizing how this could work in search engine results, um, I probably would have put something about guaranteed lowest pricing on mold testing and inspection in the headline here, in the title, and moved my website address up higher here so that people can possibly see that and click on it. You don't want to rely that when this is not extended down that they're going to see any more information. So knowing what I know now, if you go to Google My Maps, search for that and you'll come to this page. This is different than MapMaker. It's different than Google My Business. It's like your own personal tour. You set up your account. You have to be logged into your Google account and then you can create your own maps. So when I create a map, what I want to do, I'm actually going to make a new map um, for another business location. I enter into the search box the address I want to use for my first point on the map. There it is. Click on it and what it will do is put a green point on the place that I indicated. Now what I want to do is come up here where it says add marker. This is going to be your first point on the map. Click that. You'll see my cursor is now a little crosshairs. Come down here and click on this point I searched for. Now you'll notice it doesn't line up right so if you click on this point and drag down you can actually put it over that point. Okay. And then if you click on it again, here's the coordinates, I can hit edit. Right now it's just called point one with no description. So I hit edit. Now remember, you don't have a lot of space that people can see when they see this um, on the search results. So here's something I'd like to do. Lowest rate mold inspection. And my phone number. Okay, then I come down here, let's put in my full web address, healthyhomemoldinspection.com slash gurney is my city. Guaranteed lowest rates on professional mold testing and mold inspection and then I can come down here Oops. and what I'm trying to do here healthy home mold inspection 5250 Grand Ave number 14 trying to get a little citation boost here by putting my name address phone number in here and again what I'm going to do is put my phone number again at the bottom because people aren't going to see a lot of this down here so what I want to do is stuff this with keywords for ranking purposes now there's a picture here add image or video I haven't done that yet because I just realized this sitting here. I'm going to try that. Um, you can go back and edit your listings as well. So you bet I'm going to go back and try to add images and videos to this as well. But for now, one thing I recommend is that you copy this because when you hit save, you're going to want to use this description again. So I hit save. Now, this map that you just created, if you wanted to add 
another point, you can do that. You can put in another address, add another point, you can add as many points as you'd like to the map. However, for localization, I only add one point per map so that I can really hit it hard with my name, address, phone number, maybe get a backlink out of this, uh, maybe get some citation energy out of this as well. So once I do this, this is now a private map and in order for other people to see it, I have to click share. Now, it's got add a name and description before sharing, so I want to paste that description I had. Lowest rate mold inspection. And again, my phone number again. 558-1022. So that's great. So that's the description. Now, it's private. Who has access? So I say change. Public on the web. Save that. And that's it. You click done. Now, in order to embed this map or share it in any way, I go to this drop down menu here and this was hard for me when I first tried to use this I couldn't figure out how to make any of this work because it's not that instinctive so I come over here to this little drop down here new map open a map delete this map embed set default view I believe you can keep it from scrolling all over the place but what I want to do is embed on my site here's your iframe code so I hit control C on my Windows computer come up here edit page now here is a web page okay and this one I already have done in my theme what I am able to do is let me enter down here if I put my cursor somewhere and I come up here there's an icon for it looks like a little film reel video iframe short code if I click on that, it brings up a dialog box where I can paste that iframe code, specify the width of that map, and insert. Now I've already inserted a map on this page, so what I'm actually going to do is show you that page. So here is where, here's my page for Palatine, my goofy little video, my images, and when you get down here, there's that map and it's actually a dynamic map if you can move around on it and like I said that's all I did I created the map using my maps I embedded it on my website I didn't really do a lot to promote this web page in the search results because I just haven't had time and accidentally I saw where this has this map has ranked so I hope this video helps you um, get some more listings on the first page of Google search results and if you have any other suggestions of how this can be used please message me on the Facebook page thank you